Born in 2005, the European Emission Trading System is now almost 14 years old. Since the beginning, it established several new records. It was the first transboundary cap and trade system, the world's largest carbon market, at least until the Chinese one will be fully operational, covering more than 11,000 installations and about 45% of the European GAG emissions. However, as any record may, I would say, it encounters several obstacles on the way. Price fluctuations, especially in the early phase, a depreciation since 2008, which actually contributed to lower allowance prices. On top of that, there were also difficulties in the international negotiations on the post-Kyoto phase, particularly at COP15 in Copenhagen, and in the following years until the Paris Agreement was achieved. To address some of these problems, the European Union passed several reforms. Among them, the main one, the Directive 2009-29 for Phase 3, and the recent revision for Phase 4, which will last until the end of next decade. Despite the difficulties, the EUTS remains an important unifying policy in an otherwise very fragmented landscape and is likely to remain a key pillar for the years to come of the EU climate and energy policy. So to get a deeper understanding on the functioning, evolution and prospects of the EUTS and to support European member state policymakers with the design and implementation of the EUTS, FSR Climate has completed an exposed literature-based assessment of the EUTS since its beginning. The review provides a survey of the empirical literature on selected issues, free allowance allocation, competitiveness effect and carbon leakage, the interactions of the EUTS with other policies, low carbon innovation effects and effects on investment, the international dimension of the UTS, and finally an overall assessment of the UTS. The latter is based on five criteria. The relevance of the UTS, its effectiveness, its efficiency, its coherence, both internally with renewable energy policies of the EU and externally with the Paris Agreement, and its added value with respect to national policies. It is hard to summarize more than two years of activities and research in three minutes. So if you are interested, why don't you join us on December 18? FSR Climate will give a webinar on the UTS assessment report, discussing in details the topics uh, mentioned above, and we will be glad to answer your questions. So we wait for you online.